In your pregnancy, when you've had a baby diagnosed with a congenital diaphragmatic hernia, what we offer to you really comes in three stages. The first is the initial evaluation, which is done here at UCSF. And with that initial evaluation, we do a very detailed ultrasound of all the different organ systems of the, of the baby. And then in addition, we do something called a fetal echo, which is a detailed ultrasound just of the heart, of the fetus's heart. The, after the completion of that, if you have not had an amniocentesis done during your pregnancy, we will review with you the pros and cons of doing so. An amniocentesis can add extra information um, in this diagnosis. After that initial evaluation, if you decide to continue on with your pregnancy, the next stage of what we offer is essentially ultrasounds about every four weeks to monitor the growth of the baby. The emphasis at that time is really not what is the congenital diaphragmatic hernia look like, but more just is the baby growing normally. Finally, at 30 to 32 weeks gestation, the other thing we will offer is a, something called antenatal testing or non-stress test. What that involves is a ultrasound that looks only at the fluid around the baby. And in addition, we put a monitor on your belly and listen to the baby's heartbeat for about 20 minutes. We do this about once a week, and that can actually be done at a local hospital. The reason we do both the ultrasounds for growth as well as this antenatal testing or non-stress test is we're simply trying to make sure that the baby is doing well on a uh, weekly basis.